An important piece of equipment supporting the e-tron ownership experience is the Charging System Compact, officially known as EVSE, or Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment. The Charging System Compact is standard equipment for the e-tron and is made up of five elements. This includes the control unit, a level one wall plug and a level two connector, as well as a J plug or J1772 for the vehicle side. A wall mount for the control unit is also provided. The control unit includes two buttons, one at the top and one at the bottom. The top button is the on off switch and is also used to adjust the power level between 50% and 100%. If multiple items are connected to the same circuit, you may choose to limit power to 50% in order to relieve the load on the electrical installation. If a household socket is used for the charging purposes, the charging power level is automatically set to 100%, and if connected to an industrial socket, the default power is 50%. The e-tron's charging system compact enables owners to easily switch plugs for a level one or level two receptacle. That's 120 volts and 240 volts respectively. These cables and plugs are provided as part of the unit. To change cables, remove plugs from both the wall and the vehicle. Lift the lever all the way up, pull the connector out until you feel resistance, then close the lever until it's resting on the connector. Then remove the connector completely. To attach the new cable, lift the lever up slightly, insert the connector into the control unit until you feel resistance, then lift the lever all the way up, insert the connector fully, and close the lever. The final item provided as part of the charging system compact is the wall clip. Consider the location of the clip relative to the wall receptacle. To place the control unit, first insert it into the bottom tabs and then into the upper tabs. Push the control unit in at the top to secure it into place. From here, you can wrap the excess length of cable around the charging connector mount when you're not charging, and plug the power cable into the socket.